Hey guys, so I'm making this video in response to uh, a video that Jerry Ellsworth posted up on YouTube. Um, you can watch that just there. Uh, and it's a video about failure and how that helps you learn electronics. Now it's fair to say that I'm a beginner at best, and in fact I'm a beginner at most things. Uh, Arduino, for instance, I'm still beginning to understand a lot of that. I use a lot of contributed libraries so that I don't have to do all the programming myself. And it's mainly logic is where I get into it, where you know, the program flow and that kind of thing. I, I find myself progressing a bit more, but still very much a beginner. Um, and I wanted to share with you, like um, Jerry shared, some of my failures. Now, um, there are quite a few, but I'll only go through, through some of them, some of the more recent ones. Um, pretty much every time I try to do something, I've failed at least once. So, a little while back, and I've never posted a video about this because it, uh, it never really worked. Uh, I made, well, I say I made, I tried to make, let's just go for that, uh, a self-balancing robot. Uh, got some nice little motors here. Um, I had uh, an H-bridge, and I had an accelerometer, and uh, I had a power supply thing, which is over there somewhere. I say I had a power supply, what I did was uh, had a big bunch of batteries which was very heavy, which I think is why it didn't work so well. Uh, and it didn't work, it failed, it just wiggled back and forth like this an awful lot. Now I tried to use a Kalman filter, I tried to mess around with the code to try and make it work, but it never worked. And I think part of it was because I just wasn't ready to do something that complicated. Uh, and I'll revisit it one day, but instead I can use what I've learned with uh, using an H-bridge, with using some of the code for that, and uh, it was my first time using motors, so I'll make a, a robot that sits on the ground, I think, and moves around. So there's that. See, I keep all these things to sort of remind me of the projects that I've done and what I've learned from them. Uh, another one was the word clock, and I eventually finished that, and I eventually made one. Um, but to start with, I designed a board, uh, and I've got all the resistors on there, uh, and I realised that I was crap at soldering. And I soldered all these bits, and I heated the board up too much, and I pulled off some of the copper traces on the printed circuit board. Now, I designed the circuit board, so that's one thing I'd learned how to do, but the first designs were terrible. I didn't really understand that. When you make these, they can be double-sided, so I've got a load of bridging wires and things all over the place. And uh, it was massive as well, it was a lot, lot bigger than this. And it took a long time to come to, come to terms with the fact that I was just a bit crap at this. I thought there was something else wrong. But really, uh, it took hours on uh, the Eagle uh, schematic software to make this, and then to have uh, the people who printed it for me change it completely so that it actually worked which was great of them, so I appreciated that. So that was one of my failures. Another one, uh, one that's more recent, is very recent in fact, this is what I'm working on at the moment, um, is IR reflectance, proximity detection. Now, I saw uh, a video a while back, after I came up with the idea for this thing, I wanted a, a proximity detecting table when you put your hand on a portion of it, on a pixel, or, or whatever you might call it, some LEDs lit up um, using photodiodes and IR LEDs. Now, unfortunately, uh, some of them have already done this, so it's not original, but that's fine. It's still a lot of learning to do. Uh, and I made, I've made six different prototypes now. Some of them are, I've recycled, but some of them I, uh, I haven't, because I cut the, uh, cut the long legs off everything, so I couldn't take the, uh, the parts out anymore. So I've got... Uh, one of them here, uh, and this one I just used some uh, uh, strip board, and I've got loads of bridging wires all over the place, but where I put the, the components meant that I wasn't taking advantage of uh, the strip, the copper strip going down here, so I, couldn't use it, I didn't use it as rails, and in fact I'd end up using a, a drill bit to separate the tracks, so that ended up being a massive waste of that board. Now, those are quite expensive here actually, so that represents about a pound for the, uh, the PCB, 
uh, and all the components on there is probably another three pounds. So that was a bit of a waste. And then the uh, the second iteration, I used uh, just perfboard with these holes in it, just to little copper circles around each one of the holes. And I thought, oh, just use bridging wires. And I've used a lot of bridging wires on there. And this took maybe 10, 15 minutes to solder together, which I think is quite a long time, really. And it was quite intensive to do, and I had to think about it. And I've made some mistakes. I've soldered uh, one of the five volt wires, or where it should go into, onto the ground uh, pin there. So this now is, uh, is ruined. And I've decided to go back to the strip board where I can use rails, and if I just reorganise the circuit, it will look better. Um, but unfortunately, I did that with a lot of them, so there are quite a few that I've put together. But some of them I can take back, take apart and, and use the bits again. Now, the, uh, the newest one is here, and this is all still up on a breadboard, and I'm using a, a TLC 5940 and some 4051 uh, analog multiplexes, so hopefully I can integrate the whole thing rather than just doing it from Arduino pins. So that's all that I'm going to show you that I've failed at so far. There have been so many failures and I've learned so much from it, so don't be disheartened if you do fail at something. There's always going to be failure. Um, and thank you to Jerry for posting that video because I watched that and I thought, yeah, actually I've learned a lot from my failures, so thank you. Um, I'd love to hear about anyone else's failures, so <laughs> that sounds horrible. Uh, what I mean is, I'd love to know what you've learned from your failures, uh, and if you've got any advice for anyone else, um, and if you spot anything that I did wrong that you could, you could help with, that'd be great. So thanks a lot for watching.